Hey guys, welcome to the ITS Knot of the Week in HD. Today we're going to be continuing our loops with the Alpine Butterfly Knot. So this is also known as just a regular butterfly knot or a lineman's loop. So let's get into how to tie it. Alright, so the first step in tying an Alpine Butterfly Knot is to create a loop. And you want a fairly large loop because you're going to create an extra twist in it, like this. So once you have the twist, you'll be looking at something that looks kind of like a figure eight with the top loop being larger than the bottom loop. You'll then bring the top loop down, so you'll have something that looks like this. And then you're going to take that loop and tuck it inside of the other smaller loop. Grab that, grab your two lines, and pull the tighten. Once you dress it up and clean it up, it looks like this. So the checkpoint here are these drastic shapes that kind of come in and the cross that's made on one side. The other side looks basically like a cross. So it's one of the things that's great about the Alpine Butterfly Knot is it's easily identifiable. So it's easy to see if you've tied it correctly on both sides. Um, the proper usage for this is to create a loop inside of a line that's under tension. So meaning that both of the both of the lines or both of the standing parts of the line would be under tension, but you would still have enough slack to grab this and create um, the butterfly knot inside the line. So some ways I've used this and seen it used before, um, I've used it to create kind of a dropper loop when I'm rigging um, tarps and things like that. That's a great usage for this. Um, another that's commonly used in climbing is uh, to hook in climbers. So you'd have a harness and you'd clip this into a climbing harness along a, a line that you guys were, that climbers were using to walk up the side of a mountain or something like that. So it's basically creating fall protection. So if somebody falls, everyone's got a hold of the line and you can basically support the weight of that climber that fell. So the other thing that I've seen done before is if we create another one here, I can show you an example. Just tie one of these real quick. Again, Coming down and through. So the way it, I've seen this used before and have been privy to use one of these is that you can take a carabiner, if you have two of them, and you would, I'm going to turn this around because I want to demonstrate this properly. You would anchor around an object, so if this was a tree that you were anchoring around, you could now set this up as a double line rappel. So you'd tie two alpine butterfly knots, this is around your stationary object, and now you've got your lines here to rappel with as a double line rappel. So this wouldn't be my primary setup for a rappel, but just note that I have used this before and I've been privy to, you know, being able to use this to rappel with and it's, it's a pretty good setup. So a couple things about the Alpine Butterfly Knot. Um, as I mentioned, it's easy to inspect. It's also easy to tie with gloves on, so which makes it a plus. Um, it's also used for isolating a damaged section of the rope. So if we untie one of these here, I will show you what I mean. So basically what we would do is if we had our big loop and twisted the smaller loop, this section here in the top loop would simulate our damaged section of the rope and then when we bring this down and tie it that damaged section gets put into the top of the loop as this gets tied. So what that'll do is prevent that damaged section from being utilized within the line. So that's another idea for the Alpine Butterfly Knot. And again what's great about this is it's multi-directional so meaning that if you're hooked in on this it can get loaded from multiple directions without affecting, uh, without affecting the, the, the line itself. Um, and it's also, when tied with the Alpine Butterfly Knot, it does not weaken the strength of the rope. Once again, the Alpine Butterfly Knot. Thanks for watching the ITS Knot of the Week. Be sure to check out itstactical.com to learn more or click the description below to get a direct link to the site.